Hi, my name is Leslie Walker, art appraiser and cataloger for Austin Auction Gallery. Today, we're going to talk about Japanese cloisonne. Cloisonne is an ancient technique for decorating metalwork objects like vases or decorative boxes. Early pieces would have been decorated with gemstone inlays, but for the past few hundred years, the most common material used is enamel. Cloisonne enamel objects are worked on with enamel powder made into a paste, then fired in a kiln. Companies such as the Ando Cloisonne Company and the Kodenji Studio produced intricate designs that catered to the subtle and simplistic taste of Japanese consumers. Large cities like Edo, now Tokyo, and Kyoto were home to cloisonne makers. In particular, Kyoto's Namikawa Yasukui became one of the leading companies of Japanese cloisonne. Today, there is a Namikawa Yasukui cloisonne museum that is specifically dedicated to the cloisonne that they made. This intricate vase is made from brass, silvered wire, and enamel. We can see the fine detail in the leaves and flowers. Like Namikawa Yasukui, a signature design aesthetic of Japanese cloisonne is a deep, rich black ground with vibrant colors. This vase is unsigned, but we could speculate the studio who produced it would have been in Edo or Kyoto. An interesting aspect of this vase is that the artist chose to depict not just a beautiful blooming flower, but also included decaying leaves near the base. It calls to mind 17th century Dutch still lives and the memento mori. Thank you for joining me today as we talked about Japanese cloisonne. This vase, lot 762, will be offered this weekend, July 16th and 17th, at our upcoming auction. I'm Leslie Walker with Austin Auction Gallery, and we hope to see you there.